again, it's me, Boo, back for my part two of my part four edition of samples. And this is part two of the Andy Tower uh, samples that I have. Um, in the first one, I went over Incense Rose and Un Rose Cheap Ray, and they smell fairly similar, except for I personally like Un Rose Cheap Ray a little better. It's um, a little less incensey than um, Incense Rose, which makes sense. So, um, in the dry down, this gets very incensey and kind of loses a little of the rose. This, the rose, and it's a gothic, dusty, graveyard kind of rose. And it stays with it the whole time with the Un Rose Cheap Ray. And it, there's some other flowers in there too that kind of take the bite off of that. You know, I don't want a fresh bouquet of roses kind of smell. I want the roses that have been sitting there and have wilted and are starting to dry. That kind of smell is what appeals to me if I'm going to wear a rose. And the other two that I talked about was uh, uh, Carillon Pour Unong or Carillon Pour Unong, Pour Unong. And this is a uh, uh, not my cup of tea, but I think this is a kimchi fragrance, and I think that a lot of women are really going to love this. This uh, kind of has a Gardena smell. Um, uh, it doesn't quite smell like Paradis Inter D, but it's very similar. And um, I can see that being serious chick juice. I mean, I can see it being very popular because I have a feeling men might really like that one. And the other one that I got uh, is Lone Star Memories. And this is, to me, it's, it's really named appropriately. It does smell like a cowboy. And when I lived in Texas, like I said before, it's, it smells like saddle leather and saddle oil and desert and, um, you know, just some spices in there, too. Oh, it's so nice, but it really, to me, is, is is a little manly. I don't know if I could pull it off, but I am going to do, like I said, and do a little walk-by spritzing of my honey and see what happens. So that's Lone Star Memories. Then these last three are my favorites, and uh, of the ones that I've tried. I think I tried that orange one, but I couldn't find the sample. I know pretty sure I did anyway and I'm thinking I really liked it too anyway this one is called uh, Penta Pentacord White not Penta White but Pentacord White and this is a really nice um, I, I think it smells like a white floral personally um, exclusive fragrance of dried iris root plays with silvery violet flowers in a white clean garden. This classic iris with its crisp beauty is complemented by the warmth of dry wood from a rosewood tree. A hint of mysterious ambergris decorates it and adds an expensive note to the fine bourbon vanilla ornamenting the white iris. And this was launched last year. I think all the pentacords were. I don't know that to be for sure. but. And one person said it smells similar to Queen of Hearts by Queen Latifah. I haven't smelled that one. I've smelled Queen, but not Queen of Hearts. And this, like I said, to me, it, it reminds me of white flowers. I know that it didn't really say that. It said iris mostly is what it sounded like. And some violet flowers. And you do smell a little ambergris, but not much. Yeah, there's a lot of iris and uh, violet in here. I, I think the violet is as strong as the iris, really. And when it dries down, because the, the violets and iris kind of give it a sharp note on top, which I'm not crazy about, but it's the dry down. It gets much more, um, and for this very feminine for an Andy Tower fragrance, um, he's really good at unisex. Now, I can still see guys pulling this off. But I think of all the fragrances I've smelled of his, white, uh, Pentacourt's White is definitely the most feminine. And um, all of Andy's fragrances, uh, especially in this weather, in the warmer weather, 
the sillage is good you know it really projects my aroma cloud my scent cloud um, in the hot weather with any of his fragrances tends to expand um, on most of them anyway um, so I tend to one spritz and then you know I do the layering thing like I told you on, on uh, uh, Lair du Desert Moroccan I will spritz something sweeter just one squirt of the tower and then um, one or two squirts of something sweeter just to mellow mellow it out a little bit and I have been wearing them totally in this warm weather so it's Pentacords White then the next one that's my favorite I'm gonna go to my second to the most favorite of all of the Andy Towers samples that I have my um, even though my favorite here um, uh, on these samples I am definitely gonna get a bottle of um, I like it at least as much as uh, Lair du Desert Moroccan. I might even like it a little more. I am just really crazy about it. But before that, uh, this is the next one, and that's Zeta. So in Zeta, um, uh, composition opens with a bright chord of lemon, bergamot, and sweet orange. The heart notes include Ylang Ylang, Orange Blossom Absolute, Orange Blossom Absolute, and Steam distil Distilled Neroli, which join, join the vivid Linden Blossom Note and Rose. Orris Root, Sandal, and Mysore, oh, Sandal from Mysore, and Gentle Vanilla are in the base of the composition. And see if people say it smells similar to anything. They do, a couple of them. Uh, Poem by Lancome. Banana Republic W by Banana Republic or Eau de New York by Bond Number no. 9. Now, I've smelled that one and I don't really smell a lot of similarities between the two. This is very unisex, though. Um, it, personally, I don't get a whole lot of citrus out of this. And it says it, it opens with lemon, bergamot, and sweet orange. I do get the bright notes. Um, the brightness of it, but I can't really pull out lemon, bergamot, or orange, you know, specifically. And it, when it dries down, it's it's slightly floral, but again, the vanilla and the sandalwood and kind of just warms up the base and takes that sharpness off, that brightness. Oh, it's really nice. So again, that's Zeta by Andy Tower. And this last one, love. Oh my gosh, I just love it. I have it on my arm right here. Oh. And man, he knows how to make a, a fragrance last too. Cause especially on my clothes, wow. Uh, some of this stuff lasts a long time. Sometimes till the next day kind of long. Um, and my absolute favorite out of all of the ones, the samples that I've tried, and it might be even, I might like it down the road even more than Moroccan. And this is Pentacord Auburn. It just says Penta Auburn on the bottle, but um, aren't these, these samples are crazy. Um, anyway, this one I am nuts about. Oh, and it's really unique. I don't think that anybody says it smells similar. Oh, there was somebody. Wait, no, I'm on the wrong one. There we go. Um, no, nobody says it smells similar to anything. And this has, this I think is, is more of a spicy amber. It reminds me slightly of Ombre Russe by Parfum de Empire, I think it is. I don't know. I don't wear that one very often. I, that's one I have to layer. It's so dusty. This one is not as dusty. It's a. It's just a hint of sweet. It actually reminds me a little bit of Copper Skies by Kerosene, just a little bit because it's got, it's got like a, a sweet. Kind of a vanillic cinnamon metallic smell to it almost um 
It says auburn is the melody of warm cinnamon in accord with a citrus tree in rich bloom. See, that's where I get the metallic. Some citruses, the way they're put together, they smell slightly metallic to me. And I think that's because citrus, you know, if, if you don't have a prominent citrus note in the opening, if you just have a general citrus, if it's real light, it just brightens the opening of the fragrance. If it's really heavy, it makes it kind of metallic. And, and that's just my opinion, and that's what I'm deducing, but I'm no Sherlock Holmes, so I don't even know if that's even close to being right. But that's kind of what I'm figuring out, at least with my nose. Um, oh. And this has a, a, it's very dry when it says, uh, well, I didn't read you everything. So, amber is the melody of warm cinnamon in accord with citrus tree and rich bloom. The softest sandalwood um, melts into dry amber and subtly adds depth to the perfume. A warm, spicy tobacco closes the oriental uh, round dance and starts it again. And this was launched last year, too, like I told you. I think all the pentacords were. Oh, man. And it really is a dry fragrance. There's no moisture here at all. It's slightly sweet. Um, the dry down, I guess there is a little of the tobacco accord in there, or uh, note in there. I can just barely make it out. I think there was more, um, because I put this on my arm this morning, and it's now evening, um, and it's still, I can still smell it, and I just gave one little squirt. I didn't even give a full squirt or anything, so it like I said, it reminds me just a hint of Copper Skies by Kerosene because that also, which I love, I'm also going to get that, has that real dry amber in it. And it's dry to the point where it has a dusty kind of feel. Now this one, I think there's, it dries down to a little, it, it warms up and, and becomes a little softer in the dry down. Um, not quite as dusty, but oh, I just love this stuff. I am definitely going to be getting me a bottle of this, and that is Pentacord Auburn by Andy Tower. All right, so that is it for those. Um, I am going to be back uh, with uh, some more lists and a whole bunch. I mean, I have, I bet you, 100 samples that I have to go through because I've got some really good samples. Um, some I'm going to get down the road probably, and some I'm not. So I just want to go over them and kind of give you my take on them. Oh, pardon me. So that, uh, uh, you know, in case you're kind of on the fence about them, you know, maybe that'll help you make a decision. So anyway, uh, this is Boo. <laughs> my dog's over there having a dream. Um, he's just eyes rolling, feet just a going, and I don't know what he's chasing, but I think it's gaining on him. So <clears throat> anyway... I hope you all have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine. I hope it's sunny where you are. And um, I hope, you know, the weather calms down for you, Joshua. I, I worry about you being down there in Florida with all the hurricanes. So hope you all have a great day and peace.